All right, here's this one. Email is not working. Now, this one is also very vague. And uh, again, make sure you assign a ticket to yourself. They're pur it's purposely vague because a lot of times you will get vague tickets in a help desk environment, in a help desk work. Uh, and uh, that's it's, it's on purpose. Email is not working. So we're going to reply or contact the customer somehow, whatever the means may be. We're going to say, hello, this is Irvin with PC support. Can you please now introducing yourself is only if they're not familiar with you. Um, now, if you happen to be like a desk side technician and you're working ticketing system, chances are they may know you. Or if you've already worked with them, you don't have to introduce yourself every time. You know. Now, if you're you know if you talk to a hundred people in like a past week, then you might want to do this anyways because sometimes you don't you know whether you're working or not. How can you remember? I don't know. Um, I can't remember everybody. Can you please? Um, uh, let's see. Now, I'm going to say this. What is the error you're getting? Or can you can you please send me a screenshot? Uh, and basically this is your starting point because we need to figure out what exactly is going on because it could be anything it could be that they can't send or receive emails it could be that their calendar is not working it could be that they can't set up out of office message it could be that they can't uh, configure some kind of a meeting now, like for example they can't integrate their um, zoom meeting schedule thing or whatever it is that they use for meetings it could be anything so we're going to ask them to provide a screenshot. So um, if they can't figure this out, we're going to take control of their computer anyways and see what's going on. Uh, and uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend like they, they couldn't figure it out. So we're going to access their computer and see what's going on. Again, ask for our computer name, IP address if you can find it, this and that. But we need to get to that point where we can access their computer. Alternatively, you can also, and I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, in, for example, in Dameware, you can invite user to join a remote session. Okay, so this is a one way to, basically, you send a link to them, and they can go through there, through the link to initiate Dameware on their computer, and all they have to do is just click accept or whatever just to allow it's very simple just to allow you to connect to the computer so there are alternative ways with besides getting their computer name and ip address all right uh, mine is grayed out here because my dimware is not set up in a large business environment and obviously i'm not recording this on my work computer this is just my home lab if you will for making these videos okay let's go see that error on their computer all right so here here is the error okay this is what they get 500 something went wrong we couldn't find a mailbox for this account well it's very descriptive error i like this error either they don't have a mailbox or they don't have a license assigned to fix this to fix this contact your email admin and ask them to assign a valid license to your user uh, to your user account using Microsoft 365 admin portal per instructions. All right. So we're going to find out who this person is that submitted the ticket and we're going to look them up. In this case, um, it was, uh, let's see, who did I select? Who did I select to be? Well, I guess it was just example customer. So it's anybody. Anyways. I've recreated this error um, using my own Outlook, my own Outlook. But I've also, um, this is also something that's happening on my current Microsoft 365. So in order to fix this, we need to check on the license, license assigned, or, you know, because the, once you assign a license in Office 365, it automatically allows him to use um, different aspects of Microsoft 365 products. One of them is Outlook. 
Outlook will not allow, will not work unless you assign a working license. Outlook is disabled unless you have a working license. So here we are inside of Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And if you haven't watched my videos on Office 365, I have a whole series, whole series on Microsoft Office 365. I think I have at least 10 videos and they're all numbered. There's, there's a, definitely going to be a playlist set up and it's going to pop up right now in the top right corner if you want to check this out. So the issue right now tells us that the license is not working. So we're going to, uh, we're going to expand users in Microsoft Office 365 Center. We're going to check their licenses through Microsoft Admin Center panel. You can do this through the Active Directory as well. And again, they, I have tons of videos on this, so make sure you check them out if you're interested in Office 365 and as a help desk, you definitely might want to do this. All right, so we're going to check, we're going to check uh, my own uh, account. So here it is, we're going to select Irvin, we're going to see what's going on. Uh, when selected, it's going to expand and you're going to see different types of options, different tabs. We're going to go to Mail tab right away to see what's going on. So we're going to click Mail because we're talking about Mail and Outlook. And here it is. Sure enough, the user doesn't have an ex Exchange Online license. Now, admittedly, this type of error is going to be fairly rare. But the purpose of me showing you this is because... I want you to know that Office 365 is going to be something that's going to be required in some help desk. Well, I want to say majority of help desk positions, you gotta, you have to know Office 365. Uh, so I'm, I'm just doing this for you, although this is not going to be uh, necessarily a common thing unless licenses expire. So we know the issue now is with the users license for the exchange online which is also outlook same thing so we're going to click on the tab that says licenses and apps all right now we can see that we have a license assigned to it office 365 a1 for faculty now this is office 365 that i have is the one i got for training to creating those 10 videos that i've made and the licenses have expired so this is why this is happening. So even though Office 365 A1 for faculty is selected, it's not working. So it's not working because they're disabled. And I'll show you this. So this is what's happening here. Um, if I if I were to leave this selected here and I expand apps here. Okay. We can see also that the Exchange Online Plan 1 is unchecked even if we check it it's still not going to work all right so here it is we're going to refresh this see it's still not working because the license has expired so this is where you would make changes for the license if there is an active license you can assign to them you can switch to that license to fix their problem make sure it's this is approved by your manager um, unless you're you're the guy that they can do this you know um, they, 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 you're allowed to do this without permission. That's fine. But make sure you select a proper license that's going to give them access to Outlook. That's not uh, expired. And I'll show you how this one expired. So if I expand billing here and I go to licenses, it's going to take a second to load. It says here, here's for faculty here. It says doesn't apply that means it's not working available lesson licenses doesn't apply that means i don't have any see how these other ones microsoft powerpoint automate the microsoft teams exploratory has numbers to them these this is literally how many licenses are available and how many are used here it says doesn't apply and i used to have a thousand of them for each one of these doesn't apply because it's disabled okay so they're they're expired i can no longer use them so this is something that needs to be rectify now we're going to pretend like we did it like like i said go to active users go to Irvin, and make sure that he gets a proper license in here this can also be done through active directory i'm going to do it real quick so just to show you here we go users again 
you might want to watch my videos on all of this i've already made this this is just a quick touch and here is Irvin under users and licenses are right here and here it is you know see how it keeps see how it keeps disabling this one exchange online although i've went ahead and enabled it yeah it's broke so yeah make sure that valid license valid and active working license is added to the user to fix this issue all right so we're going to go back here and pretend like we did that we're going to add internal note all right i'm going to say added a added hmm let's see here i'm going to be more destructive here the issue was related to expired office 365 license added user or gave user gave user a different slash working license so he can access email Irvin Irvin helped Irvin how about that 